Welcome back to the Strong Mom channel. Today, we are getting into the fifth video in our exercise after C-section series. This is the fifth and final video. And today I'm answering all of the most popular questions that I get in the you know C-section exercise realm uh, video. So I'm gonna dive straight to it and go through some questions. So first one is, I am three weeks postpartum. How much can I walk per day after my surgery? Um, so here is what I recommend. There is no like hard and fast guideline. You can only walk a kilometer or one mile or, by the way, that's a lot, okay? <laughs> Um, I'm just, there is no guideline to how much time it is all based on you and how you feel. Um, and my suggestion is get out in the morning and get out in the evening or afternoon and just walk. Don't do, don't push it. Just a gentle, nice walk, get outside, enjoy the set, enjoy the sunshine, right? And don't push it. Don't force your body. You just don't want to feel like beat and exhausted the following day, which happened to me after having my kids. I was like, yeah, I'm going to walk so far. I walked around the mall, which was more than a kilometer. And I felt like, oh, I overdid it. I totally overdid it. And I shouldn't have, I had nothing to prove. It was ridiculous. Um, and if you are looking for any other exercises to do, even before your doctor gives you that okay green check mark approval to go back to exercise um, which usually happens between six and eight weeks postpartum then I want you to check out the first video in the series um, second video as well um, just showing you some at-home exercises that you can do very like restorative recovery stuff all right second question I'm six weeks postpartum and I'm dying to get some gentle crunches in. How much longer would you recommend waiting? Girl, you are six weeks postpartum. And I know she hasn't even gotten her uh, doctor's approval. Um, why? Why do you want to do crunches? And I asked her this. So she said, because she feels it. She feels like the burn. She feels her muscles tighten. Um, and I would not recommend doing crunches six weeks after having any kind of labor, uh, vaginal or C-section. Number one, you don't want to disrupt the C-section scar. You got nothing to prove. You do see crunches are not going to help you get a flatter tummy faster. They're not, especially if you are not healing your body. So what happens in the first eight weeks after having your surgery, after having your baby is that all of these muscles, these tissues are healing on their own. You do not need crunches. And in fact, crunches can make it worse. So this, um, uh, this mom had asked, can it make diastasis recti worse? So diastasis recti is with the, we always call it mommy tummy, the doming shape of the belly. And it's actually where your right and left recti muscles have separated. Okay. Totally normal. All moms are going to get this in the third trimester postpartum. So your belly grows big. Those recti muscles separate normal. As you are healing after baby, these muscles are going to slowly and gently come back together. You have this midline down the center called the linea alba, it's connective tissue. If you are doing crunches and sit-ups, that tissue is not healing. That tissue is working and it needs to be resting and you need to be eating nourishing food. So don't be so quick to jump back. You could actually be making it worse. So don't do that. So just wait. Um, furthermore to that, if you are a mom who's concerned about your belly, you want strong ab muscles, you want strong core, don't be doing crunches, go and do the real rehabilitative core breathing exercise. So to do this, you need to go check out videos two and three in the series. And that is going to get you started. That is the foundation that I start in my tummy fix program as well. All of my clients do it. Every single one of them, whether you've had a C-section or a vaginal delivery, or you are 50 years old and had your baby five, 10, 20 years ago. This is the exercises you were going to do to get a flatter belly. And if you have diastasis recti too, I'm going to put all the links down below guys. Okay. It's been 10 months since I had a C-section, but my tummy looks pregnant still and my belly button pops up. What should I do? So this sounds like it could be uh, the condition called diastasis recti, AKA mommy tummy. Um, so I'm going to put a link down below, um, showing you, it's another video, just what is diastasis recti? What does it look like in some bodies? It looks different with, if, with different people, um, with this mom, it just looks like she's pregnant, um, still. And so she's probably dealing with the flat belly in the morning, growing belly in the day. And then by the time you go to bed, you look pregnant again. What's the deal? 
Okay, so yes, it probably is diastasis recti. Again, go back to videos number two and three, get the breathing down and get the pelvic floor contractions and your TA muscles. So transverse abdominis, this is like your whole deepest core muscle core um, muscles. So people always think about abs. I got to train my abs. I got to get my six packs. I got to do the obliques. I got to do all this work. No, you want to get in the deeper muscles, which is called the transverse abdominis. And it wraps around your whole, um, your whole body, your whole abdominal area. That's what you need to do because it's been weakened. It's been maybe unused for some time. If you've got back pain, you need to do that. If you've got urinary leakage, even if you just pee a little bit when you sneeze or jump, you need to be doing this. Everybody needs to be doing this, okay? Get that below. Um, and also, if you're dealing with this mummy tummy, this diastasis recti condition, join me in my tummy fix program. It's eight weeks long. I'm gonna teach you and walk through and do it with you and coach you how to rehabilitate your body. So we're taking it way back retraining your core, your pelvic floor, adding in exercises to do the proper exercise to get your belly back, uh, your belly flatter than it currently is, your belly to stop doming. You want the leakage to stop. You want the back pain to go away, okay? Tummy Fix program, I'm gonna put the link down below. Um, so I run my course every eight weeks and just before I do, I go in live in my Strong Mom Community Facebook group and I give you guys five days it's a workshop, my tummy fix program. It's the method, it's the workshop. I give you five days of everything, telling you everything that you need to do. I'm not showing you how to do it, but I'm giving you the what so that you know what to do. And if you're like, yeah, I need this, then you can come and join the eight week program following it. Okay, so um, guys, I'll put the link below. Give me your, um, not really registration, but like tell me you're interested and I'll get you guys all set up, okay? Um, okay, where am I? Which exercises do you suggest for lower belly because it's hanging? Okay, tummy fix program. Even if you don't have diastasis recti, that abdominal separation, the foundation of it, everything that all the moms are learning is going to help you with the, uh, I don't like using the word shelf, the overhang, the little bit that you don't like. Okay. It's going to help. So again, go back to videos number two and three, and then sign up for the tummy fix program, or at least join us in the free workshop. Okay. You got nothing to lose. Um, and I do the free workshop every eight weeks. All right. Which leads into the next question. I had a C-section three months ago and I want to know, will this, these belly and the core exercises that I'm talking about right now, help me reduce my belly fat and overall fat? This is a great question because there are so many YouTubers who are, you know, video headline, reduce fat, get rid of belly fat in seven days, 20 days to a flat snatched waist, all this stuff. No, it's not gonna happen like that, okay? So that stuff is just like, what do you call it? Just clickbait. All right, so here's the thing. with what I teach in the Tummy Fix program, what I teach you in videos two and three, that stuff is what you need rehabbing your, um, you know, your core, your pelvic floor, so that you can get to the next level. So that you can get back to doing crunches and planks and all the other hard stuff, okay? You're gonna get there. It takes time. But is it going to reduce belly fat and overall fat? If you have diastasis where you look pregnant all the time, that's not fat, that's just your belly like, not pooching out. Your belly, it just looks bloated, okay? So yes, it's gonna get rid of that. But is it actually gonna get rid of the fat? Like if you got fat that you can actually squeeze and hold, is it gonna get rid of the fat? No. So what is gonna get rid of the fat? You need to eat properly. Nutritious, earth-grown foods. Uh, lots of fruits, lots of vegetables, whole grains. Stay away from packaged stuff. Like just don't buy the packaged stuff. I always say, when you are doing your grocery shopping, you want to shop the perimeter of the grocery store. Don't buy the stuff in the, in the, in the, you know, the aisles, unless it's like canned tomatoes, canned, I don't know, beans, dried beans, pasta, that kind of stuff. Okay. So the only way that you're going to get rid of belly fat and overall fat in your body is to do three things. You need to strength train. You need to use weights and you need to use resistance, like resist. Okay, any kind of resistance. You wanna use your baby to do bicep curls. That is resistance. You can use resistance bands. You can use weights. Uh, you need to do some kind of cardio. 
Cardio doesn't have to be, you know, high intensity. It doesn't have to be running. It can be anything you enjoy. Bike riding, swimming, anything like that. You can do some of my approved cardio workouts. I've got a lot of C-section cardio workouts. So check the link below. Um, yeah, so those three things. Nutrition, your strength training, and your workout. It's going to take time, okay? So don't believe all the hype of these seven days to a flat waist. Get rid of your belly flat. No, because if you're training your abs and doing crunches a thousand of them a day, you know what that's doing? All it's doing is strengthening your abs. You know what it's doing for belly fat? Nothing. You cannot spot train your abs. You can't really spot train anything, okay? Just so you know. All right. Where am I? <laughs> um, okay. Can you please advise the best workout for a mom after five years of C-section? What is the best workout? There is no best workout. There is a best workout for you and you and you and you and me and everything is different. I dislike running. That is not my best workout. Uh, I love to swim. I used to swim. I don't swim now just because I I'm at home and I got two kids and I just, I've run a business. It's hard for me to get to the pool. My gym is in my basement and that is my best workout. That that's what I love. So your best workout. And she didn't tell me what her goals were are to do something that you love to be active every day and do something that you love to do. Maybe you love to walk. Maybe you go to the park and you run up and down the hills with your kids. Great. So find something that you like to do. There is no best exercise for everybody. All right. I'm looking forward to doing workouts like Tabata that I did before pregnancy. I'm six months post-surgery. When can I do it? Good question. So, um, of course, after you retrain your core and your pelvic floor muscles. So I don't know if this mother had already done that. Again, go back to videos two and three and or join the tummy fix program. Um, but... Six months postpartum, she's, I'm sure she's been cleared by her OB, her doctor, to go back to exercise slowly, progressively. Um, and so when she's ready, when she really feels her body is ready for it, when she's getting enough sleep, when she's not too stressed, <laughs> right? Those things are important. Um, then uh, she's probably good to go. You know, start out doing 10 minutes to 20 minutes and just ramping it up and just gradually working your body into it. Um... The other thing I want to mention was if you are doing these Tabata exercises and you are, I want you to listen to your body. Like it's, you, if you're leaking, if you're leaking pee every time you do a jumping jack or like a burpee or something like that, don't do it. You need to retrain your pelvic floor muscles. I am a total broken record in this video, but for real, that's what you got to do. This stuff works. As I always say, you need to retrain the foundation before you add on to it, before you start doing jumping, before you start doing, you know, strength training. It's like you wouldn't ha build a multi-million dollar home on a really crumbly old 200 year old foundation. You just wouldn't do it because the foundation's crap and it's going to crumble apart. Same thing with our bodies. If our foundation up in here, our deep core muscles, our pelvic floor muscles are all, we're leaky. We don't have good posture. You add weights on top of that. It is game over. You're going to have more pain, more aches, no good. Injury, not cool. All right. Um, doo -doo -doo. Last question. I did your workouts and I feel my core muscles working again. Yay! My question is, how long should I do these exercises before moving on to the next level? And what is the next level? Great question. Okay, so I have no idea what this mom is doing for her exercises. So let's just give an example of a plank, for example. Let's say she's doing a side plank. I feel good. I can do it. It's easy now. It's easy now because she's been doing it for a while, right? She's worked her way up to doing this. Okay, what's next? Uh, maybe she's doing a side plank. Try to do a prone plank first. Maybe you're going to start on your knees. Great. Then maybe you're going to kick out one foot. Good. Can you do that? Then you're going to extend the other foot out. Now you're in a plank on two feet as opposed to your knees. Okay, great. You can hold your plank. You've been doing that for like, let's say a month. Okay, I got this. I'm, I'm really, you know, increasing my strength and endurance in this, this exercise. What's next? Okay, maybe you're in that plank. Maybe you're going to start to uh, do shoulder taps, right? So just find ways to just kind of ramp it up or change it and make it just a little bit difficult at a time. Okay, I hope that helps. I don't know what exercises you were doing, but I hope that helps you out. So moms, if this all sounds good to you and you guys want to know how to get rid of the mummy tummy, you want to 
stop having back pain because it sucks and don't blame it on the epidural or anything else. I know a lot of moms do that. It's most likely because your deep core, your core, your whole core up in here is not strong enough. Don't worry, we can fix that. Um, if you're experiencing the leakage, not cool, it's not normal, it's common and we can get rid of it. Join the Tommy Fix program. Um, what else? Oh, and if you are looking for a um, personal training, well, come talk to me. Um, if you're looking for, no matter how many years or weeks postpartum you are, I will build a personalized program for you um, and your body and your ability and using the equipment that you have at home or the gym, but not a lot of us are going to the gym these days. So at home. Um, so guys, I hope that helps out a lot. Uh, I know you guys will probably have more questions. Put them all below. Please give us a thumbs up. Make sure to share it with your mom friends and do some videos that I got below. I will see you next time. Don't forget to register your interest in the tummy fix program, which I'll also got, keep you guys posted on the free tummy fix method workshop. All right. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.